G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. Hope you all had a ripper week. What do we got going on in this video? Bit of a correction on the old Soto fire duvalacky thing on the whole refilling. Baby bird in a tree. Me and they paint a wall and build a banquet. Christian jumps in with his uh, 2020 Kawasaki Vulcan S. What a bloody machine. Mailbag time and BB news. Righto, let's check out this correction I've got to do with the Soto thing. Rightio guys, so uh, I've got a bit of a, what What are you doing down, hang on a minute. Rightio, that's a bit better, okay. Hey, do you like me 2020 skull? That's what I'm calling it, my 2020 skull. It's been a big year for lots of reasons. Gonna do a little bit of work on him, but in another MCT. Right, I wanted to make a correction. A few MCTs ago, I did a, you know, I've been using this Soto bloody uh, Duvalaki for um, quite a while. Love it, fantastic, still love it, whatever. Recently, my Bic lighter that I used to light my cigarettes had gone, and I've been using this. Anyway, it ran out of uh, Go Go juice. And I don't know, this is what happens. See, when I'm filming and I'm doing stuff, I've got so much going in my head that the whole, my little hamster, um, gets overrun. Anyway, so I went, it's, I've got to put some more fuel in it. And I just straight up went, righto, grab my adapter and this, chuck this on here. Now I was saying I wasn't sure whether you could fill this up out of, and I was doing shit like that. And because the camera wasn't going, I just did what I would normally do. I'd do that, click that in there. Move that little thing out the way, turn it upside down. Hey presto, fill it up. Oh. And now I have flame and it's all full. So the correction is the Soto using the little adapter, you can fill it up out of that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just an idiot sometimes, because I'm. That's that was half the reason why I thought that this Soto having this adapter meant that my, so, because I carry this with me in my pack with all my cooking gear, is that if this did run out, I carry that with me in my cook pack, because that's what I cook on, and I can refill this up. It was, you know, all work together. But anyway, there you go, that's my correction. Bugger off. Well guys, today's the day that we get to see Mrs. Blackbird and Frank's little baby chick. Oh, that's Frank. There's the little chickadee. He's saying, I'm hungry, come on, feed me. Well, there you go. Oh, so they're both. So I've seen... If you can hear that noise, that's next door neighbours have got a new puppy. And they're playing with it in the background. <laughs> yeah, so they're both feeding. And as per usual, guys, I know nothing. I always think that that one there, the black one, which is Blackbird, that's, we call it Frank, so we believe that's the male. Actually, I have to be right, because he's the one that's been fighting with the other one on the roof. They've been doing it for weeks. Not as much as when they first, but the other one obviously still comes around. And then did Frank, buddy, says, uh uh, no way, mate, you ain't coming over. Yeah, that's cool. Bit of the entertainment in the background, in the uh, backyard. Cool bananas. Well, there's Mrs. Blackbird. She actually just got a big fat slug. You can see she's pulled the concrete out of there. And uh, yeah, she's got herself a big fat slug. She just pecked at it and pecked at it, wiped all the slime off her bloody beak. And yeah, I presume that was given to the baby. No, hey, Frank was just feeding him. Oh, feeding the little, really? yeah. 
Rightio guys, we're uh, just showing this wall here because May has gone and splurged, haven't uh, you? No, it's not a splurge. We've got all these boxes turned up from oh, focus from IKEA. All that stuff there. It's gonna be beautiful. That's it. You got a lot of work. Yep. <laughs> so all these cupboards are going. Now he's got to pack all that stuff up. Then we're gonna have some sanding, some taking away of bloody skirting and painting, and then those boxes are gonna be assembled. <laughs> yep. And it's gonna look like something in there, and Nay's gonna also have in the middle there a uh, clock, because she's a crazy clock lady. Well, Feature better wall. clocks than cats. Yeah, true, true. Right, eh? Yeah, you can come in, don't have to hide. I have to hide. So that's it, that is the wall all cleared, vents removed. Remove the skirting from there. But now we've got to do some painting. So we've uh, sugar washed it. Sugar soap. Sugar soap, sanded. Mm -hmm. Sugar soaped again. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to paint some primer on it. Yes. Because we don't know, Matt doesn't even know what, because he had a lot of trouble in the, um, in, uh, in here. Oh, I'll turn the bloody light on, sorry guys. Oop, wrong one. Uh, a lot of trouble with uh, the paint bloody sticking. Like we can see here. Oop, we've got some bloody scratch marks there. Realised it after the bloody fact. Um, so we don't know what, who knows what's painted some oil base, lead, could be lead base, could be anything. Plus with years of obviously the strange chemicals they would have cleaned the walls yeah, with. Who knows. Who knows. So we're doing our due diligence. It's the devil's work. Yep. Righty, eh? So primer going on. Hopefully Matt's not watching and cringing as we do this. <laughs> So I've cut, cut in where we're only just, you can see from, we're only doing it from that wall there and just that bit because that's the part where the cupboards are all going in. Right, eh? next shot we'll show you uh, what colour it's going to be. All white. Well, there we go guys. Two o'clock in the morning and we have a feature wall. So that's the colour. Hopefully it'll dry and uh, we'll lose the streaky bits. But, um, that is it. Cool. Rightio guys, so this is the cold hard light of day. Two coats on that back wall. And we've just put a bit of one coat of grey on either side. We don't know whether that's going to be the actual grey. Might be a well, different... Well that's blue, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got a blue tint to it, but it's still grey. Yeah, see, I only see blue. Yeah, Isn't it funny? It's you're like... a little bit weird. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> to me, it... Alright, so we're up to the, um, the part. We're going to start opening up some boxes and see what we can build. Mace is going to do a quick vacuum. Alright, yeah, guys, we're opening up the first box. That'll be all the bits and pieces. I tell you what, they really position pack all this stuff. We've got instructions, that's Mark and May. Looks like the instructions are pretty good. Yeah, I reckon a kid could do this. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll Get back to us in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right, eh? So we're not going to bore you with our assembling, but I just thought you might be interested to see how this stuff comes packed. Cool. <laughs> Status update. Oh, there's quite an echo in here. Um, so just the normal, you know, when you have the flat pack stuff, so just putting dowels and screwing those things in, a couple of brackets, following the bloody thing. These little turny doobalackies. Righto, guys, so there you go. That's our first box done. Second box. Yes. And away, we'll come back to you way down the track. 
Alrighty, we've got a few more boxes made. Three down there, big one there. This one that knows to start with no backing. It's gonna go there. And then what do we got? Another two, two up there and on the other side. And then this part here, they're gonna be drawers. And then that's actually gonna be a seat. And then we'll most probably might end up doing a custom backrest on there, which is not part of this unit. We'll just make something up. And I think, what are those? Are they drawers at the, no, they're cupboards. cupboards. I'm pretty sure everything else is cupboards. And the cupboards up the top have glass fronts. Where's this cupboard in the drawer? I don't remember. Uh, we'll find out, eh? Like, like, we'll be as surprised as everyone else. A bit like Christmas. <laughs> Righty, hey guys, so all the boxes are now built. Tell you what, it's been a bit of a warm one today. Um, so now we're gonna have to, I think, We've got to now attach it to the to the walls, and I think there's feet to go on. Um, so I get all that done, get it all level, and then I think it'll be putting in shelves and doing um, what do you call it? Uh, doors. But so far so good. So it's looking a bit modern at the minute, but once it gets all the doors and bits and pieces, that should settle that down. Rightio, guys. Time for a status update. This is day two. <laughs> <laughs> they all become one. Yeah. Some of this stuff's really easy and some stuff is... Trial and error. Trial and error. You know, you're following instructions that have no writing. It doesn't tell you in English anything. This is a pretty much a universal, so it doesn't matter, you know, what country or... I was going to say religion, but <laughs> la language. Don't think the religion matters. No. Um, so, show up, yeah, we've got two cupboards. Lovely. Mounted. Obviously they will have handles eventually. Yeah. Oh. So that's Look. the three slide-out drawers. They actually work. Yeah. Nice. Um, where are the handles? We'll quickly show them the ha handle. Are they going to see it anyway, but... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's that old style type bloody stuff. But they won't be on the drawers, they'll only be on the cupboards. Cupboards, that's right. We're, gonna... we're not sure what we're going to do with the drawers because we're going to have, there's going to be... Because it's going to be a bench. Yeah, and there's going to be, we actually was, this is all we needed was that small piece and that small piece to top these. Um, but the this came at a length, the full length of those three drawers. Not long, and it looked really good, I should have showed you, but... Um, Just not, quite. not quite enough to fill right along to there, so we're going to buy our own piece of wood to go on top. But it, and then it'll have a cushion. Yeah, that's right. But when we had it on there, it did look really good, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've just got to work out handles for these. Yeah. I mean, the upside obviously well, is they don't need it because you can just, just do that. The bottom. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we'll just see. Brilliant. Right, so. Now we've got to get all these on up there, on the air. One, there. two, blah, blah, blah. We'll come back to you. I won't keep boring you. <laughs> right now, guys, I just want to show you how easy putting these hinges on the door. So it just comes like this, slots in there, push it down, and then boom, that one's on. We'll get this other one. Push down, clip a row. How's that? Simple as, and we are oh, okay. And then we have these, which has a where's my short lookers? Got a little arrow. I've got short lookers, I still can't bloody see it. Oh, there it is. So that goes that way. It's the very top. That just gets pushed in there. Then we screw that in. Give it a Beautiful. Hey, so we might as well do the whole bloody thing. We've got another one of those? Yep, on the bench. This is just, I don't know. This is, love this technology, if that's what you call it. Right. What's IKEA? Is it Swedish? Yep. 
smart they buggers aren't they? Yep. Now obviously you know this is doing this stuff what we're doing I suppose it's not it's not for somebody that doesn't have a few skills and a few tools not that you need many tools because um, there are little bits and pieces as you go along like this we had to you know cut that with a, a saw and, and all that kind of bullshit so what am I saying so it's easy but there's some some stuff's a bit fiddly all right shut up now grab this door well, like when you do this yourself, you know, and you're making your own drawers or your well, this is always the really hard bit. This, you just find the little spot, clip it in. I don't know if you can get down on that. So, oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, get in there. So there's a little yeah, little thing that goes there, and then, boom, that is it. Functional door. There we go, guys. I think that's it. Oh, apart from uh, well, kind of. that thing there. We've gone to Bunnings and we've put new, uh, filled up the holes there, the vents. We've got a piece of wood to go through there, the whole length. Handles are on, so that's made it look a little older. Yeah, not too bad. We could have got ones that had the older style, like the I don't know, cross things in it. Is that right now? Yeah, but they were cream. Exactly, they were cream and we wanted white, so... We could, we thought we... Oh, this is the ugly side of the kitchen. This is the beautiful side. Um, we, we thought we could have painted it, but it's like, oh, I'll go to that. Yeah, so worst case scenario, like we've done before, we can actually put wood inserts in there and stick it to it we can do it and make it look all right so but we'll see how we go cool bananas let's open one up ba -ching. oh and also nays toying with the idea see all these holes we couldn't find the little button ones that you plump in there but they had these little sticky ones. Are you happy with that colour? It's a little bit... It's a little bit off. Off colour. So I'm not going to put any more on. I'm going to have a bit of a Google. Bit see of a Google. The Google machine says, see if we can get some that are... White. Yeah, Ikea might actually sell them. I don't know. Yeah. But we'll Righto. Look at it. We'll bring it back when we've... Well, we've got to put the, the wood on the bottom and then we've got to create that... Um, the back of the seat. So, and we want a ledge. Hopefully you can see that. A ledge and then a slope down. And then we're lucky because this is 600 mils across. So... If we're you, not lucky, it was deliberately well, planned. Well, it was deliberately planned <laughs> by you. Yeah. So if I was to be there, look, if you look behind me how much room I've got. Yeah, there's heaps, so there's absolutely just heaps of room. Heaps, heaps of room. To give it, yeah, that, yeah. so that you've got that angle. Yeah. You won't feel it because yeah, you can slip all the way forward yep. on this. Yeah. Cool bananas. And the kitchen table is going to come up to this. Yeah. 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 Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, because that's the whole point. We don't have to have kitchen chairs. Yeah. We've and, got bench. and look at this. No more sleeping in the shed in the garage. I could sleep here. See, on the couch, I don't. I, I've, got to, I've got to go like that or my feet go up on the thing. <laughs> like that. But anyway. Life is hard. Oh, I know. If I didn't snore, it wouldn't be too bad. No, normally, no. Half I was going to say, hang on, I'm yeah. the one that sleeps on the bloody couch. Yeah, and then sometimes I feel bad, and so I'll bloody jump on it. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? That's it. That's all she wrote. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Status update, guys, we're still going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, temperature update, 34. Yeah. Yeah, 34 degrees Celsius. Um, so we picked that up from Bunnings. That was like 109 bucks. And that's actual real wood. Whereas this is chipboard with a laminate over it. Um, obviously that's thicker than that one. You're not going to see this anyway. We tried to match it as close as we could get it. But this is going to have all cushion on there and up there. So, yeah, so you'll see the front lip. That, yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. 
So, um, so we'll obviously have to hunker that down and then start, we've got to work out how to build the, the backrest. Easy yeah. peasy. Yeah, that's it. In cool. the bag. Did, did, they, did we show them that we've now got all the, so oh, no, you didn't show all the hand, fancy. all the glass buddy uh, cabinetry things in there? Yeah. Cool. Rightio guys, status update. No, 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 you're not, not supposed to be actual work. We're supposed <laughs> to be doing our work. Well, you do our work. <laughs> Righto, status update. We're in the middle of bloody uh, building this. What did you call it? A banquet? Is it a banquet? Yeah. It's a banquet. So yeah, just uh, make sure that's there through into the studs. This was a bit of the old hamsters for both me and they were the whole getting that this angle and the this and bloody that angle. So that angle apparently the best angle for a backrest. Uh, so the internet says is between what is it a hundred degrees? Yeah, and one tenth. And one tenth. So we went a hundred and five degree angle. We managed to actually get it because we have a little tool that tells us. <laughs> um, so, so that's it. That's all bloody rock solid. Um, the next thing I've got to do is this. We've got a long piece of that. That's going to be the shelf that goes all the way along. We've left a gap in there because then we're going to have the ply sheet that runs all the way along that. So that's, oh, there's the ugly side of the bloody, oh <laughs> shit, Jesus, hang on, turn around, there you go. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. Sorry guys, look, we just put the shelf on, it just looks bloody good. Old house, can you see there, there's a gap there? No gap there. That's because that whole wall, this whole wall, is bowed like that. That wall there is not... Um, a 90 degree to that wall. This one kind of like kicks out this way. So that's the joy of a uh, old house. Exactly. Right. Oh, so we've got to we'll knock the corner off that a little bit. We've got to paint that before we fit this, and then we've got to measure up the. We'll do that. Actually, should we? We should do that bit. Sorry guys, I'll shut up and we'll 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 talk about that, okay? <laughs> Off camera. <laughs> Rightio guys, well, let's see how we went. <laughs> oh she's a squeeze. She's a squeeze. But well, as we know, there you go, it's that front bit that's um and flip. Eh? The lid. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I wonder whether that's sitting on that because I didn't want that to. Oh, well, it's not sitting there. Ah! Splinter. Splinter. I reckon that's it. Well, sit on it, see if it's, oh. you know, acceptable. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, so. Yeah, I don't think we will need those. Oh, I, I was wondering, guys, whether we needed to add some supports through there where the plywood's got nothing. I don't think we do. Yeah, I think once that's nailed, that's, I mean, it's nine mil, yeah, nine mil thick. Done. Done. So let's uh, sand, sand that, paint white. Because we don't know how long it's going to be before we, cushion before we get the uh, cushion covers made mm. or done or whatever. Brilliant! Rightio guys, this is uh, now completed obviously except for the, um, the cushion stuff. Not these cushions, these are Merry Christmas bloody... Well they're not Merry, well they are Merry Christmas but... Well there you go, look at that. So yeah, this is all done. Boom! Nace has got to work out her cushion, how she's going to do that thing. 
And then obviously she's got to fill up all that. You're going to try and make it all fancy. <laughs> we know I don't do fancy. Yeah. We've actually got something in there. Oh, I did this for Nay. <laughs> Let me out! Most people do elf on a shop. We have the, yeah. the stick man. Except he's lost a hand lately. He's got it, it's just not attached. Yeah. Yeah, we... Every now and then, nail bloody put him somewhere or you know, hide or him in, in the, the bookshelf. Even Hayley gets involved. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Hayley who does the, the drawings. So he travels around the house. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, you'll obviously, you'll see it, buddy, with all our shit in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it won't look too bad with our shit in it. <laughs> we'll make it look okay. That's it. Cool. Okay, see ya. Rightio guys, I want to show you the pretty much the end product and it actually working. Look! Hi. Hello. Hello. It's late, late on a Saturday night. It's not that late, I'm just. Isn't it? Well, it's 5 to 10. Oh, nice. So there we go. That's it. Where's Jay? Showering. Oh, okay. There you go. Party pooper. Daughter number two, <laughs> Taylor. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's with all the the crap. stuff, all the crap, buddy, in there. We haven't got the clocks yet, so no, it's not finished. No. We'll but oh, but we'll we've got back tomorrow afternoon. There will be clocks. Look, we've got the cushion. So we've got that cushion. Obviously, we still have to do that one there, but yeah. But it's working, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Righto, cool. I've already had a lay down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye. Rightio guys, this is it. I will not do this anymore. We're calling this project complete for me, videoing purposes. Um, it will be an evolving thing, but there you go. We finally, geez, we've got going everywhere trying to find different types of clocks. But that's it, that's the clock wall. It will, this will evolve. Um, so she picked up bloody $3.75, <laughs> uh, what do you call it, cushions, we've got that bloody, those cushions there were from Aldi, they were $20 each, um, oh and she picked up this, that, how much was that, I think that was like 20 bucks from Kmart or Big W, so I've changed for the round thing which I think kind of like goes with the, I'm talking like I'm a bloody fashion designer. But anyway, there you go guys, that is it. Um, oh, so people might want to know, I was asking Nay how much she paid. So, uh, that whole setup, not including the custom bit that we did in the middle there, so from Ikea, I think, what'd you say, $1,950, we'll call it. It was just under, a bit under the two grand to buy all that and then us to install that. The, that big wood plank was $90. So I don't know, call it 150 bucks to do that there. That paint was pretty expensive. So it's, it's called gunmetal gray, which that's not gunmetal gray, um, but it's Porter's paint. That's a pretty expensive paint. I must admit, we both, we all really like the, that paint job come up. It's, it is expensive. It was like 90 bucks for the four liter tin, which we nearly used all of just to do that wall uh, obviously that yeah whatever so there you go that's that's what it cost i think and then obviously the few little extra bits and pieces booyah g'day guys just out on the motorbike uh, let's go and have a look at goanna let's go just up here let's see if i can zoom in on him for you here he is right there just come around. Oh. Beautiful. Well, that's a bit of a treat, guys. You can see my bike there, and he's up this tree. Magnificent. And right nearby, we've got some bees. See a nice little hive in there. Just zooming back out. 
There's the tenera and up here in the tree, there's our little mate right there. Rightio guys, we've got uh, Christian, which is my daughter's uh, partner. Partner, yeah. He's not, they're not married. Shut up, Mark, whatever. Righto, he's brought over this. I don't know if you remember, we'll, you came up and we went, looked at the Harleys and then we looked at the bloody Kawasaki's. Yep. And so this is what he's got. So what is it, Christian? Uh, it's a 2020 Kawasaki Vulcan S. It's got the 650 parallel twin engine out of the Ninja. Oh, um, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, so they classify it as a sport cruiser because it's got the body and comfort of the cruiser, but it's got the sport engine in it, so. Yep. So 650, obviously, lambs approved. Yep. Yeah, cool. And this was a way better, what was it? Because you, did you test, you test, yes, that's right, you test rode the Harley, Harley up yeah. here. And, and you, that was. And then you test rode that. Yes. Um, this thing down in Melbourne. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. massive difference between the two. So what was the big difference for you, do you reckon? Just the get up and go. Yeah, yeah. the power of it. The Harley just didn't have the pooling factor that this has. Yeah. Um, the I was bored right in the Harley. Cool, so what have you done? So obviously, clearly we have a, uh, a big... Yeah, so a Delkovich 21 inch. Oh, that's a Delkovich, is it? Yeah. Oh, right. So that was yeah. one of the cheaper ones I found. I think I paid $600 shipped. Wow. So it wasn't too bad. So I jumped on that. 600 bucks, that's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you must um, be earning too much. Change oh, the headlight. The headlight. He's come up from Melbourne, so there's a few bugs bugs on that. So what did <clears throat> what did they have before? Was it a incandescent? Uh, it was just standard. Just standard, yeah. It was horrible. I rode it once at night and it was like there was no headlight there, it was oh, barely on. So right. I changed yep. it out, so now it's full LEDs and it's very bright. Yep. Yeah, it's good. So headlight, that, and then uh, also you've the done that. Tail tidy. Yeah. So. You got the brakes. Yep. And then your indicators. And just so everybody knows, we have no idea whether that would not be legal. No. No. But you can see them. Yeah. It's just that they're, what you were saying, there's so many you've got to be off here or whatever. Yeah, cool. So the tail tidy, was there more shit coming down here, was there? Yeah, so it came down to about there. Oh, right. Big plastic piece, a big chunky tail light. Just yeah. Just real. Yep. Yeah, cool. Just big and bulky. Cool, bananas and the main thing, you happy with it? Yeah, love it. It's great. Yes. Good shit, all right. So I'm going to grab Harry. We'll go up through the twisties and I'll take take you to that. There's a really cool road. Yep. Yep, and then we'll do a swap over and I'll get to do a bit of a ride, so I'll bring you out when I get on that. Cool. Actually, guys, before we do that, um, here's a picture of it when it was uh, stock. The other thing too, um, you've got handlebars coming. Yes, 13-inch apes. So that's going to um, be ape hangers. So how far do you reckon that's going to bring them, bring them up? I think from what I measured, 13 comes to about there. Oh, right, so they're not But obviously huge. they won't be as back as these ones. They'll be a little bit, bit forward. So they'll look maybe a little bit bigger, but... Yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. And obviously you said mirrors too, I think? Yep, bar and mirrors for them. So. Oh, right, yep. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Brilliant, then the seat. Yes, yeah, seat needs to be done. And as we all know, guys, and then this, and this, and this, and this. <laughs> My favourite little uh, spot through here, this is the geographical centre of Victoria, marked over there. Right, Righto, jump on. So he's going to be a little bit more wieldy and he's got all the extra bits and pieces so he won't be as smooth as that one. Yeah. But exactly the same as yours. Cool bananas, keys down there. Actually, I better, better work out if I can start yours. <laughs> oh no, it's civilised. Look, it's got the key in the right spot. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, real pop, pop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's sweet. Oh, no floorboards. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's going to be nice. Right, eh? 
cargo. I'll let you go in front. Just take it easy. Oh, that's that's actually a really nice um, seating position. I've got to do that again. Can we go back yeah. down? Cool. Have you, have you given it to it? A little bit, but not much. I can already feel a pull. Yeah. Way more than that thing. This is like a, that's like a slug. Funny fact, 15th quickest cruiser unrestricted. Oh, is it? Everything else is above is like 1,200 cc bigger. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you, if you heard much of that, but that, this is a cool, no wonder he took this bike over the Harley. Mate, that is a bike and a half. I love, hang on. Oop, we're in first, go into second, neutral, shut her off. Here he comes. Yeah, man, he would have thoroughly felt the difference between Harry and this. Wow. So that would have felt like an elephant. That did. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Feel the weight and everything. Yeah, because it's got all the extra, yeah, you know, the screen, all the extras. 
but you know he's been dropped quite a few times so there's most probably things are a little bit out of alignment and stuff but mate that oh, i love that yeah it's good isn't it yeah it actually i always say this it surprised me but it did really surprise me yeah. the pull that it's got the balance that it's got the sound obviously from that exhaust yeah it was actually moving the wax in my ear it pops and crackles every now and then yeah good. yeah yeah no fantastic love it bloody brilliant all right i'll shake your hand man thanks righto guys back to the man cave Rightio guys, it is mailbag time, that's what I'm calling it, mailbag time. Now, obviously something came in the mail and a really cool sticker. Here's what they say, Dear Mark, thanks for producing a really good YouTube channel. It's been pretty hard during lockdown in Melbourne and your videos really cheered us up. Please find a cool Suzuki sticker of what is obviously a Simpson Desert weapon. We thought you might like it. Keep on keeping on. Check this out. That is cool as. That is a Simpson Desert weapon and that is definitely, look at that, that is chappy riding it. <laughs> I love it. Brilliant. Thanks heaps. Um, Kind regards, Alex and Claudia and Andre PS. Thanks for wishing Andre a happy birthday back in March. It really made him happy. Bloody ripper. Good on you, Andre. Righto. I've got a special spot. Let's go and whack it up. Righto, guys. So it's going to go up on this whiteboard marker. So we get to see it all the time when I'm bloody on this thing. So hopefully I'm going to be... Oh, make sure I get it right. No creases. Come on, the pressure. Look at that. Bloody ripper. Boom, boom. So, all that's done. The only thing I've got left is that uh, sticker makeover. So, I can rub all this stuff off now. Max is pretty much sorted. Just got to do his stickers. I've got some cool sticker designs. Um, hopefully to get him all redone. As cool as a sticker design can be on a DR650, you know, you don't, you don't have a lot to work with um, on the old DR, but I'll try my best. Brilliant. Thanks heaps for the sticker. <laughs> Righto guys, time for some BB news and shit. Got a few bits and pieces to do. First thing I want to do is a shout out for Mile Munching. Now you might know, I'll bring you over to the screen. This is Mile Munching Adventures. He's got the, he's had the YouTube channel, does some really good bloody you know, cinema photography and bits and pieces. Um, he has now, he's just done, what he's, what he's doing is um, he's created uh, some motorbike tours, kind of similar to what I do with the rambles and all that kind of stuff. So it's all fully catered and all that. You pay X amount of dollars and hey presto, uh, he looks after the rest. So he's just done the always. Yeah, he actually uh, invited me, but it was like, I was in the middle of doing Max and all that short notice, whatever. So he's done that. They had really good success. They have a trailer that bloody, you know, four wheel drive and all that follows along. So the Otway has been done. I'll leave a link to his um, to his website and you can go and check out these tours. So that's the Otway one. Um, he's got all this right up, like day one, day two, everything, all that's included, the price, um, the difficulty indicator. Clearly knows how to do his web bloody stuff. Um, you know, what, how much dirt, bitumen, blah, blah, blah. 100% fun factor. Then he's got, you know, the right is suitable for single bloody uh, adventure bikes or the, all the bigger two-cylinder ones. And you even get a little video to see what it's a bit, bit of what it's all about. So he's got a high country one coming up. And if I click over to the high country, and I think he's also going to do a dust-up one, which will be in the outback kind of stuff. Um, so high country cruise adventure tour. And I think, some, so same deal, 
So 650 bucks. I think there's two nights accommodation included that, but you can choose to only have the one. Yeah, same, same deal. Now, where's the dates? Tour dates for 2020. Uh, oh, here we go. So we're looking for the high country. So December 5th and 6th. They're not too bloody far away. Anyway, check it out. You'll obviously have continued um, tours and whatever. Um, yeah, well worth it. Well worth a, a checkout or whatever. So there you go. Cool. Rightio, so we've got two out and about photos from the crew on the forum. So we'll go and check that out. So the first one is out and about before lockdown. Where is it? Lock, uh, before lockdown in South Australia hits that night. While everyone was out uh, stocking up on loo paper, I decided to make the most of the eight hours we had before heading into lockdown that night. This is my local ride from Victor Harbour, South Australia to my Ponga and Cape Jarvis. Check that bloody bike out, eh? That's a weapon and a half. And look at the view. Perfectly bloody uh, captured there. Bloody good stuff. Hey, look at that. that. Man, that'd look pretty, pretty awesome. Hang on, someone's at the bloody door. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Matt's just turned up, so I'll bloody get onto this. That'd be really cool um, seeing the flow when that would overflow. That'd be awesome to see. Um, here's another one. Another one there. Bloody brilliant. Best way to spend uh, your eight hours, that's for sure. Good on you. Right, let next one is uh, October 2020 Arizona Backcountry Discovery Route, BDR, on 2019 KDM 690 Enduro R. Check that. That's a cool shot, that, actually. Look at that. Oh, he's even got the bloody keep on riding sticker. Ha! Huh. What a ripper. Yeah, I really like that. That's a really well-composed uh, photo like oh my bloody photographer <laughs> i know what i like when i look at things um so it seems you can only attach one picture at a time so here is my favorite enjoy yeah with the forum you can it depends on the size of the photos if you put too many it'll go into the hidden and i can un oh actually i should have a look to see i'll have to check to see if there's any hidden ones I always forget to do that so there it goes yeah well that's a one good photo excellent Hello, Matt. Good. Well, you'll have to now come around because I've mentioned you, you now got to poke your head in so they can see you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's all right, isn't it? That's a bloody good picture. It is, yeah. Bloody ripper. Cool, so that was it, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, no hang on, here we go. There we go. Look at that. That's a good looking setup. Yeah, it is. Yeah, those, I don't like them, but I do like them. The, you they're know, very, like the. They're practical. Exactly, that's it. It balances the, the load really well. Oh, yeah, there's the campsite. Good looking fire. Yep. Oh, hello. Jesus. Look at the view. Yeah, that's awesome. Obviously, the BDR is a pretty good uh, trail to do. They have a lot of them in the US. They do, don't they? Yeah. We, we don't. Yeah, we need something like that, I think. I think actually, I think it was Kent commented something. Where is it? I oh, know. Might have been on a different post. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh no, here he is. Um, that's Kent, isn't it? Yeah. Go orange or go home. We need to get our stuff together and do a decent BDR here in Victoria, Australia. Bike looks great. Just one question. What is the headlight? Oh, I need to get one. One more pick. Yeah, cool. Brilliant. Right, eh? I think that was it. And is there any hidden? Oh shit, there's 12 hidden. Holy shit. You slacker. Yeah. Oh, okay. 12 hidden. Oh shit, righto. Okay, I'll get my ass into gear uh, next Man Cave Tuesday and I'll get these all done. Righto, um, I think, the only, I had a couple of emails uh, and was it Paul, I got, was it Paul? Paul, Paul. Sump oiler. Sump oiler, no, that was about the tool for doing the, the feeler gauges. Oh, and then these, <clears throat> on the DR, this is how he used, he's got rubbers that he used instead of the PVC pipe. Uh, the spaces are rubbers. They are Holden Sway Bar Link 
bushes, part number A92 from Burson or Repco. <laughs> cool, that's very Pacific. Specific. Specific, right, eh? Good on you. Bloody Matt the teacher. No, Haley's the teacher. Yeah, well, that's true. Right, eh? That's it, guys. Back to the man cave. Right, eh, guys? Let's go and see what Nay's up to in the wood shop. Boom. She's not in the wood shop, she's gone shopping. So, these are a couple of new ones, custom ones, Yamaha. I said to Nay, I said, oh, wow, interesting that you actually did it in red. And she goes, yeah, because she would have thought it was blue, but the majority and the new, when you go to their website, it's that logo is all red. So there you go, crazy. There's a Suzuki, I think these two are for one person and then we've got that one there now this one's been on the go for quite a while I'll tell you what it's come up pretty good I didn't think she was going to be able to pull it off and she really struggled with the bike because this image um, there was an, you know, a really old school type motorcycle in there and it was it was all a little bit different but that's what uh, they wanted and I reckon she has pulled it off, I tell you what. A lot of work all in this stuff, but she's done it. I really like it. Cool. So oh, sorry. No nay in the wood shop. <laughs> Go, Pete! <laughs> ah, you got it! Dirty! See, I told you, piece of piss! <laughs> <laughs> We've just turned around and Pete's bloody uh, bike slowed over. That must have just went... Mm. Yeah. Um, Here we attack this. Rightio guys, now I just want to give you a bit of a side note. I don't know if you've noticed it, but if I turn this around, like looking at the man cave. So the man cave, not the garage, where all the focus has been on the garage and doing stuff on the house. The old man cave is, uh, and this is the main thing, because obviously when we had the, we'll watch the AFL thing, I put that big TV up there. And normally when I say, G'day guys, welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. I've got these, I've got this black thing over there, I've got that black thing over there. The dongle thing that ran the stuff on there is now inside because Nay wants to use it to watch bloody binge TV or whatever the hell it is. So I'll have to get myself a Chromecast. Chromecast? Is that what it is? Chromecast thing? So I can get, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that one there, get rid of that little one there, and I don't know if I'm going to put that big TV that's there go over here in the, I don't know, but what I'm saying is that I wanna jazz this up. I might even take Tommy, get Tommy off there because he sits there. If I, I, every now and then I'd like to just jump on him and have a bit of fun with him, but I, I, I don't do it because it's quite a pain in the ass to get him down and then put him back up. So I might relocate him in a spot that's easily accessible for me just to have a bit of fun on him every now and then. So I'm gonna do a bit of a jazz up here. It'll be next year. The whole place needs a bloody clean up. There's cobwebs and bugs and dust galore and all that kind of bullshit. So that'll be in the plans to rejig this. Keep it, I don't wanna, cause I know a lot of people have said about that back wall. I, I did say about painting it or something like that, but it is quite an iconic, if you can call it iconic, um, part of the man cave. So anyway, just putting it out there. Cool. Well, oh, yeah, see, oh, oh, I've got this black thing bloody sitting there again. And I want to say, there you go, guys. That's Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted for another week. So this is uh, MCT 48, number, episode 48. So there's only 49, 50, 51. So there's only four weeks left in the goddamn year. That is crazy. Um, so I haven't, I have not fixed up the shack. I have not put the roof on the back of the uh, shed. Granted, I know we've done all these other extra things that have just kind of like, you've got to keep the missus happy, don't you? Is that what they say? A happy wife is a happy life. 
Um, I haven't done, I think on that list of getting things to do was the, uh, the front windows, getting them uh, framed up and all that kind of thing. There's a few things I haven't got done and I don't think I most probably get it done by the end of the year, but you never know now that I've put it out there and might put a cracker up my ass to uh, get shit done. Righto, there you go guys, remember, keep on riding and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.